welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. So today I'm so excited to be filming because I am filming another Primark haul. I loved filming my previous Primark haul, which if you haven't seen, I'll leave it in the link in the description for you to um, watch if you would like. I really, really enjoyed filming it, showing you what I'd got, speaking about the products and how I'd wear them and like trying them on, adding the little clips in. So it was a really fun video for me to film and I wasn't actually planning on filming another Primark video or buying anything from Primark. Um, I actually was planning on doing a fashion video from, like a fashion haul from Matalan. If you don't know what that shop is, because I think it's maybe just UK based, um, it is just your standard clothes shop. Um, it sells women's wear, like fashion, shoes, accessories, bags, homeware, kids wear, everything like that. So I was planning on doing that this month, but on my day off, I kind of went into Primark, not looking to buy anything went into town, fell inside Primark, like, I mean, something just pushed me in there, made me get a basket, made me chuck loads of things in, and then made me buy it. So, don't know what happened, but I've ended up with quite a lot of stuff. Let me know if you would like to see a Primark haul as a monthly thing. So, if you would like me to film a small or big Primark haul every month or every season, just let me know what you would like to see and I'll be sure to do it for everyone. If I've got money that is, because you know, Primark alone is cheap, it can be expensive when it all adds up. And let me tell you, I bought a lot of stuff. So before we get into the video, um, let me know what you th what you think of like this quality and my background. I'm oh that candle was hot. <laughs> um, the background, my setup. I've got a new camera, so I'm filming this with a new camera. I'm hoping that it's in focus. I'm hoping that it's good quality because I have struggled to get it how I want it. So I've given up and I'm just going for it. So fingers crossed it's good. Just let me know what you think. Anyway. <laughs> Let's just go into the video. I first of all want to show you the bag. I'm speaking with my hands today. I'm so sorry if this is annoying. I need to sit on my hands, but I'm just really excited to film. <sighs> just calm down, Kirsten. I need to show you the bag that I got my <laughs> Primark things in. So in Scotland, and I think in England now too, you have to pay for your bags. I think it's just to kind of promote not buying plastic and non-recyclable things and um, trying to save the environment, I think, anyway. So I bought this bag when I was in Primark. Oh, it was only two pounds, but look at the size of this bag. Oh my God. It is so massive, it is huge. And all of this has my Primark shopping inside it. Oh. The first clothing item that I got was this t-shirt. Um, I really, really love it. It's just kind of got like little half sleeves that have got a turn up. Um, it's a bluey blackish shade and it's got little flowers on it that are kind of like a pinky cream. It's got a little zip at the back as well and it's really lightweight and floaty. And yeah, I just really love this t-shirt and it was only eight pounds, which I thought was a proper bargain for a really classy t-shirt. It's definitely one that you could be wearing casually at the weekend. Um, you could then dress it up to go out at night with a pair of heels and a really nice pair of jeans. Or you could wear it to work with some nice skinny um, trousers and a nice pair of work shoes. So yeah, it's really versatile and I love it. The next thing that I got, which is definitely um, a workish item, was this skirt. And it's a pencil skirt. It kind of goes down to about your knees and it's got a nice zip all the way um, down the front. This one was £7 and it's that stretchy material. Let me just check what material it is. I don't know why, but I have this obsession with um, telling you the material. I did this in my last video as well. Oh no, there's no tag. Oh, there is. Right, so the material of this skirt is 77% viscose and 20% polyamide. So yes, it has a nice stretch, it's very figure hugging, very cute for work. I'm just going to pair that with a nice black blouse and some tights and some little um, high black shoes. On the theme of skirts, I also picked up this little one. Now this is a shorter skirt, it's um, also stretchy and it's also very figure hugging. 
This one was only £4. This is just my favourite autumn colour. Um, I'm really, really big into burgundy and like rustic oranges and things like that. Love those kind of colours. I think they're perfect for autumn and winter. So this is definitely going to be a staple in my wardrobe. And again, you can dress it up or dress it down. Right now, because Primark have got their autumn and winter collection in, they are selling off all of their summer clothes really, really cheap. You may or may not be aware, if you have watched my vlog, which I'll leave in the description box below if you'd like to check that out, I am going to Rome at the end of October, so I'm still kind of in that mood where I feel like buying some summery bits. So I got this skirt, which was an absolute bargain. It was £10 to start with, and I got it for £2. This is what it looks like, so it's a really, really floaty skirt, as you can see. It's got like a little chiffon layer and then like an underskirt underneath. And it's white, elastic at the top with a blue stripe and then it's got like some gorgeous pleats in the skirt and I just thought this would be so cute, kind of high waisted with a little belly top and some wedgies or even with sandals and flip flops. And I think this will do me well for Rome and then for next summer as well, I'll just pack it away and bring it out when the sun comes out or if it does decide to come out because you know, Scottish weather, we, just, we can't tell if it's going to be sunny in summer. Who knows? The next thing I picked up, which is also quite summer-ish, are these gorgeous blue trousers. Now they're elasticated at the waistband and they go into like a drain pipe leg at the bottom. These are actually the same trousers as the ones I had shown in my previous Primark haul, the white with the burgundy on them. They are the same but just a different pattern and colour. They were originally £8 and I got them for £3, which is again an amazing bargain. So they're just so lightweight and comfy and floaty, they've got like little pockets as well. And I thought these would be great with um, Converse rolled up or even with sandals, flip flops. And like really comfy for the plane, for going on the plane to Rome or maybe even at night if it's like a little bit cooler to sit out and have dinner. So I just thought that those were really cute and again, quite summery-ish. I think I only got two things that were kind of more summer than autumn clothes. The next thing I picked up were these leggings and these were £6. So, oh, what way do they go? This way. They look like this. So again, they're stretchy waistband and then they're just really super tight all the way down to the bottom and they've got like a stitch sewn down the bottom, eh, the, sorry, the middle of the leg to make it look like they are tailored trousers but they are just leggings. They're really, really thick and cosy, which is great considering they're only six pounds. For size and purposes, I always find this really helpful if I'm watching haul videos. Um, I take a size eight on the bottom usually, and I had to get a size six in these because they are quite, um, I would say big made. When I put the eight on, there was kind of extra fabric round about my waist to groin area. <laughs> I mean, nobody wants extra fabric there, so I had to get the size down and yeah, they fit perfectly now. They're not too tight or anything and they're just like really figure hugging. I got this little t-shirt and this was also on the sale, but I think you can totally wear it in summer and in autumn. This is a gorgeous floaty blouse. It's kind of like the blouse that I'm wearing just now with the flower pattern and the same kind of fabric. So it's nice black but kind of looks like a dark blue as well and it's got the little flowers over it and looking to like a rusty orange colour. And the price of this one, it was £3 and it was originally 6 It's got like a V um, at the front and a V at the back as well and it's really nice on. Back to my favourite colour, I picked up this gorgeous burgundy skirt and this is just like the um, really whitey worky one that I showed you initially. It's the same fabric, same design with the zip down the bottom, uh, sorry, with the, with the zip down the front and I just thought this was really really nice. I can totally see me wearing this to work with tights and heels but also like in the autumn when it gets a little bit colder to put a thick pair of tights on, little chunky heeled boots and you know a big leather jacket. I just think that it would be really cute with like that pop of burgundy on the bottom. 
and this was £7 which again is a complete bargain. They kind of give me a Topshop vibe, they don't say Primark to me whatsoever, I really really like them. Let me know if you would like to see a kind of like autumn look book because I don't really talk about fashion much on my channel but it is something that I'm really into along with beauty and I think that's why I really enjoyed doing my previous Primark haul. So definitely let me know if you would like to see an autumn look book with um, incorporating like some of these clothes and also some of my other clothes that I have anyway but yeah I'd really like to film that I think so yeah just let me know down below if you would like to see that also sticking on my favourite colour theme is this burnt orangey rustic dress and it's really figure hugging it goes down to just above your knees and it's like the stretchy wool material um, this one was £10, it's got a little cowl neck and it's got the same size kind of sleeves as this top so just kind of goes to about there between your elbow and your shoulder and I just thought that this was so so nice, it is the softest, softest, softest material I have ever felt for clothes and it's really really autumnal and fall inspired so I could see this again with like a nice um, jacket which actually I will show you a jacket that will go with later on in this video. Next up I got this gorgeous cardigan kind of jacket thing. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this but this is what it looks like. I have had this on today already. This was £14 and it's like a waterfall um, jacket. It, kind of cardigan jacket, I don't know how to explain it but it kind of reminds me of the waterfall leather jacket that you get but it's obviously not a jacket, it's a cardigan and it's black on the outside and it's grey on the inside and it's actually a double layer of fabric so it's super super cosy. I thought that this would be great for when the weather isn't cold enough for a jacket but it's not hot enough just to go out in a t-shirt. When it gets right into the autumn for us in Scotland that's the kind of weather that we usually get and I thought that this would just be great layered over kind of any t-shirt with a like a big chunky knit scarf on it and because it's black and grey it would probably go with most outfits as well. So this one was £14 and I got it in a size small which is a 6 to 8 so they all had small, medium and large I think of this one but I just thought that it was perfect. Um, I mean you could also wear it in the winter as well with a jacket over the top and yeah I just love this one. I was really really excited for that purchase. One of the items of clothing that I have to without a doubt buy every single year is a cream woolly jumper. So this is my cream woolly jumper for this year. Oh, I was choking myself there. This one was £10 and I got in a size 10 because the size 8 was a little bit short on me and this one was just a little bit better. I kind of wanted it to be a, a little bit long just so it keeps my back warm. <laughs> I sound like an old woman. But I hope you feel me, like I can get cold, definitely get colds in the winter. So this is really, really good quality, it feels good, um, nice and thick, long sleeve, just a cream standard jumper. I absolutely love wearing cream jumpers in the more that winter but kind of get into the end of the autumn. I like to layer it with brown leather jackets, cream leather jackets, I've got a, um, what have I got, I've got like a rustic orange sweaty jacket which will be featured in a, that Matalan fashion haul that I was talking to you about so stay tuned for that. Um, I like to wear it with like little cream high boots or even converse with jeans and a little vest top in the autumn if it's not too cold. I just have so many ideas for this gorgeous, gorgeous cream jumper and I can't wait to wear it. And if I didn't say already, it's £10. And I also picked up these little leather gloves. Oh, I love these. Honestly, I love these. They're like a plummy burgundy colour and they're real leather and they were a size 9. Oh, size 9. <laughs> they were a size medium and they were £9. I actually say the colour is wine which is a good, um, it is a good description of the colour. Now I got these to go with my um, jacket that Kyle bought me for Christmas last year. It's from River Island and it's a really nice creamy beigey colour and it's got like a little burgundy bit here and a burgundy bit on the arm and I just thought that these would be so nice to go with it with like a nice burgundy scarf. Now, the good thing about these is that they're actually touchscreen, 
So the one thing I hate in the winter when it's so cold is taking your fingers out of your glove to text. Even when you have those little mitts on, you know, that you can take out, you can take your fingers out but leave your hand in. It's always so cold because it does really get really cold here in Scotland. But these are, they can actually work your phone with them, so I'll show you. So here is my phone, please excuse this big crack if you can see that. And this is a picture of me and Kyle on our honeymoon. So I'll just show you, hoping that this works. Oh, did it work? Oh, it did work! How cool is that? So, I'm obviously not going to put my passcode in, but as you can see, it just types away like it's great. So I'll just do it again. I just, I wonder how it does that. It's so weird. Oh, they've only got, they've got like this little, is this one the same? Yeah, they've got like this little pad thing here. I hope you can see that, but they've not got it on other fingers. It must be some sort of technology that they've got on this finger. Let me see if it works. <gasps> the other fingers don't work. Just this one. So if you don't have this finger, then it's not going to work for you. Unless you put your other finger in that hole. But I'm going off topic here. When I was talking about that jacket that would go with the dress, this is the jacket. This is my last clothing item. And I had to, had to leave it to the end because it is my favourite purchase of the whole Primark haul. This is the jacket. I absolutely love this jacket. It's like the softest, softest faux fur inside and then it's leather sleeves with like a little elasticated leather, uh, elasticated part here and then the jacket is like a faux suede and it's just black with little silver detail. It's just so nice and cosy. When I seen that, I was like, I need that. I need it. Have to get it. I immediately picked it up, tried it on, put it in my basket. And I was like, yes, you're coming home with me. Like, I have an obsession with jackets. I mean, I kind of have an obsession with a lot of things, including scarves, bags, makeup, shoes. I mean, loads, loads of things. Candles as well. However, Jackets is definitely one of my addictions and this is so sad but the other day I actually looked out the window and I was so excited because I was like yay it's jacket weather today I can put a jacket on. So when I seen this totally brought me back to that feeling of wanting to wear a jacket and it got me so excited for like autumn and colder weather. Absolutely love the sun like I I totally love the heat and going out in shorts, well if it gets that hot, <laughs> going on holiday and just sunbathing but I also love to put jackets on and just wrap up cosy and I just thought this is gorgeous. So let me know if you also think that this is beautiful. <sighs> I love it. Now I got some underwear and I'm just going to show you because at the end of the day it's just underwear, everybody has them, it's not a big thing for me anyway. So I got this little pair. There's a hair on that. A head hair. So these were £1.7 reduced to a pound and they're just this nice hot pink colour and they've got like this nice lace round about them. They look good quality, like a nice stretchy fit. I also got this pack and it's a three pack which were £3.50 reduced to a pound, which was a good deal. So it comes with a black pair with the animal print, a blue pair with little dots and a peachy pair with the animal print as well. Again they seem good quality like they've got a good stretch on them and then the last pair were also £1.70 down to a pound and they are these gorgeous lime green ones and again they've just got like the lace detail and little kind of tree branch design plants. They look really nice as well. That was all of the clothes that I picked up. However, I also picked up a bunch of Primark makeup. So I decided that I'm definitely going to do the Test and Primark makeup video. I've really enjoyed watching these kind of videos on YouTube over the past couple of months and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to go out, I'm going to buy some Primark makeup and I'm going to make a video on it. So be sure to subscribe um, by clicking that button down below to be notified when that video goes up. Um, if you don't want to subscribe it's okay but please come back and um, check out if that video has been uploaded. I'll probably go up on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, that's my usual upload days. So I picked up quite a lot, um, I'm not going to go into the bits and bobs in too much detail so yeah watch out for that video for my opinions and seem kind of like a first impressions and review on the products. So this is what I picked up. 
First of all, I got the Stay All Day Primer, and this was £3. This says it extends the wear of makeup, smooth skin to create the perfect base for makeup. So yeah, that looks exciting. Next, I picked up the Stick Foundation. This was £2. Uh, I think it's just, yeah, foundation stick, that's what it's called. I got mine's in the shade Natural, and they're, they've not got any testers or anything like that, so it is quite hard to try and find what shade you are. So I'm hoping this one is a match. I mean, if it's not, it's only £2, so... I mean, it's not that much of a waste of money. I'm really hoping, though, that these products are really good because it would be so good to just know that you can just pop into your Primark and pick up something that's, like, you know, a couple of pounds that you're really in love with. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed that these products are great. To set my foundation, I picked up this face powder, mineral based, for £2 in the shade Light. And I also picked up these contour sticks. Now, it's three sticks for £3, which is a complete bargain. And it is a highlighter, a bronzer, and a shade. So I'm really intrigued by these. The kind of stick foundations and stick contour and highlighters are completely all the rage right now. It seems like every brand is doing them. So I've got, um, I have got like one stick highlighter and one stick bronzer, but I'm excited to try kind of contouring with these ones. Set the contour, I picked up their contour palette. This was six pounds and you get eight shades in there, which is a really good deal. Now, I don't think this comes in any particular shade. No, it doesn't say a shade on there. I'm pretty sure that these were the only colours that they had. But it is kind of like in this plastic um, container <laughs> box thing. What would you call it? Packaging. That's the word I was looking for. Plastic packaging. It reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. So it's probably trying to be like similar to that. I also picked up this contour and glow palette. And it's a bronzer to sculpt and a shimmer to highlight. This one was £3.50. And again, it doesn't come in a shade. I think it was just like the one shade. For brows, I got this brow cream. And it's so cute. It's like little dinky brow cream. And it comes with a little small brush. And I got mine in the shade Dark Brown. This was £1.50. So I'm very intrigued by this product. See if it works well. I also got this eyeliner, which is just called Fine Liner Pen Precision Tip for Perfect Flick. And it was £1.50 and I just got mine in the colour black. I also got a little lip balm and this is Pina Colada. I am sure that this was only 90p, which is a great deal. I love the scent of Pina Colada, love the taste of Pina Colada, I mean who doesn't? So when I seen this, I was definitely intrigued and had to pop that in my basket. I bought two lip liners, which were £1 each. This one is in nude and this one is in brown. A lot of the Primark makeup videos that I have seen, the, everybody tends to really, really love the lip liners. So I'm really excited to give these a go and see how long wearing they are. Now, it was really difficult to find ones that weren't opened because a lot of the makeup things were opened already. So these were the only really two shades that I could pick up. I also got this Velvet Matte Lipstick Crayon and this is £2 in the shade Ballerina, which is kind of like a dusky pinky rose colour. And then I got this lipstick which was 90p and it is in the shade Toffee. Oh, I'm so excited to use this. I'm like right into the brown lips right now. Um, it's a complete trend that's coming back. Like I love Dolce K by Kylie. So if this is a good lipstick then I will be very happy. The very, very last thing that I got in this Primark haul is this little cute perfume and the shade I was going to say, it's not a shade, um, the scent name, the name of the perfume the name <clears throat> it's the this is called bombshell i actually thought it was called gorgeous i think they have got one called gorgeous but maybe i meant to pick that one up i don't know but this one's two pound and it's a real glass bottle it's such a nice bottle i'm just going to squirt it mm, so nice it kind of smells like toffee mm, not toffee it's sweet and floral floral ish at the same time i'm really bad at describing scents so yeah i guess the best way to describe it is probably that it is quite sweet so if you like sweet perfumes i'd give this a little go i've had a perfume from primark before and they're really really good they last quite well and they're perfect size and things to put in your bag for going out at night if you've not got a lot of space that was everything from my primark haul this month 
so please give it a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and once again let me know down below if you want to have this as a regular thing on the channel a Primark haul every month or every season it's up to you guys so let me know down below sorry if I have been like blah, 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 like 10 to the dozen speaking I'm just really super excited to film this for everybody because like I say I honestly loved filming my last one sharing it with you all and um, like trying to close them also let me know if you'd like to see that autumn lookbook video thank you once again for watching i really appreciate you coming back and watching these videos and also like hello to all my new subscribers as well and um, thank you very much for subscribing be sure to do that by clicking that button down below if you haven't already and yeah i guess i'll just see you next time bye Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. So today I'm going to be doing these gorgeous blue chrome nails that are kind of mermaid-ish inspired.